Okay, let's learn the distance formula. And we're going to try to do it in about seven minutes. So really this is going to be kind of a quick review or a quick lesson on this topic. It's, um, you can see here I have the actual formula. And a lot of things in mathematics that looks more intimidating than it actually is. So if you stick with me for the next few minutes, it'll be around seven minutes, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. But if you stick with, with me throughout the entire video, you're definitely going to upgrade your knowledge of the distance formula or certainly review what you probably already know. If you're new to my channel, I am a mathematics teacher, love teaching math. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel. So if you enjoy my teaching style, I um, hope you consider subscribing. Also, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video to my full complete learning program uh, courses. I cover a wide range of different courses and mathematics course levels. So you can check that out if you like. All right, let's get right to it. <clears throat> so this is the distance formula. And as the name implies, it's a formula that will give us the distance, but what exactly are we talking about here? So let's go ahead and do an example problem. And then I think once you can know how to do one problem, you should be able to handle all the problems. So let me just draw a little x, y coordinate here. Okay, so oftentimes in, in math, let's have two coordinates here. Let's just say this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This coordinate's eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's say this is 8, 5. And I have another coordinate over here. Let's call this guy negative 1, 2. All right. So I have two coordinates. And what the distance formula, distance formula allows us to do is pretty easily determine the distance between these two points. Okay. So if I want to know the distance between this point and this point, I break out the distance formula. So this is the purpose of the distance formula and it's really not that difficult to use. Again, <clears throat> in math things generally look, you know, often more intimidating than they actually are. All right. But you do have to know a couple basic things, okay? So if these are points, okay? Uh, and points in in algebra or mathematics, points on the x y plane, we also refer to them as ordered pairs or coordinates because Remember, the first number, the first values here, like the 8 and negative 1, are the x part of this coordinate. And then the second value is the y. Okay, so you need to know that. The first number is always the x value, and the second number is the y. This is why these points are referred to as ordered pairs. It's a pair number and a pair of numbers, and they have a specific order. So, you know, if you don't understand that, then obviously you're going to be confused when you're working this formula. Okay, so that's the first thing. Okay, so if you understand that, then we can get right to it. So let's go ahead and apply the distance formula for this particular problem. So let's say I want to find the distance between these two points. So I'm going to say, okay, the distance is going to be equal to, I'm going to take the square root of, now I got to find the changes in the x. In other words, I got to subtract the x values. So what are the x values here? Negative 1 and 8. Remember I said this is the first number in these pairs are going to be my x values. So all I need to do is subtract them. Now for the distance formula, you don't really have to worry about the order here in terms of subtraction because you're going to square it. So and that's just a small minor detail, but in the other formulas, you do have to worry about it. Let's go ahead and subtract negative 1 and 8. So I can write it this way, negative 1 minus 8, and I'm going to square it. You see, this is what the formula says. Take your x values, and then find the result of that and square it. So that's what we're going to be doing here in a second. All right, All right so now we need to do the same thing for our y values. Let's go and highlight those guys here. So that's going to be 2 and 5. So we're going to add that to the difference of the y value. So that's 2 minus 5 squared. All right, so once you understand the formula and how to plug in everything, then you want to stop and pause and say, OK, did I do this correctly? Did I you know, not mix up anything here? Did I put y's where the x's are, the x's where the y's are? Just stop and pause before you do your calculations. It's a good habit to uh, get in mathematics. So you're looking at it, and you say, OK, no, everything looks good. So now we're going to actually do the number crunching part of this. So the distance is going to be equal to the square root of negative 1 minus 8 is what? 
that's going to be negative 9 squared plus what's 2 minus 5. All right, 2 minus 5 is what? I'm asking you the question before I write it. Hopefully you said negative 3 squared. So another place that students will uh, potentially make errors in is they are not good with their positive and negative numbers. I would strongly encourage you to review that because it's probably a real um, uh, it's a it's a real area of weakness when students are having trouble with the distance formula. So if you didn't get these right, these values right, go back and fix this problem and all your other problems will go away with the distance formula. Okay, let's continue on here. So the distance is going to be equal to the square root of negative 9 squared is going to be what? It's negative 9 times negative 9, right? Which is 81 plus what's negative 3 squared? Well, it's negative 3 times negative 3, so that's going to be a positive 9. So the distance is going to be the square root of 81 plus 9, or 90. So let me get my little handy calculator out here, and you can follow along with me. But basically, when we take the square root of 90, so let's see here. Uh, let me take the square root of 9, 0. Okay, about 9.48. 9.48 or so. So the distance between here and here is roughly 9.48 units. Okay, and that is the distance formula. Okay, pretty straightforward formula. Pretty straightforward formula. Um, and oftentimes this is uh, also covered with another formula called the midpoint formula. Okay, and just real quick on that, the midpoint tells us the coordinate in between the middle of these two points. Don't confuse the midpoint formula with the distance formula. Okay, so a quick review on the distance formula. Again, there's more into it. You can certainly make the problems more challenging. You can have uh, decimals and fractions in there and whatnot. But if you understand this, then you're going to be good to go. All right, so again, I'm going to uh, go ahead and encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you like my teaching style and posting videos all the time. It will definitely help you out in your math uh, courses. And then my full complete um, uh, learning program website, I'll leave in the link in the, uh, the description. Super comprehensive. I do way, way more than, uh, than I do on YouTube, which I love sharing on YouTube. But if you're looking for my uh, best work, then you want to check out my site. Hey, if you like this video, I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me your feedback. Let me know how your mathematics uh, course is going. Are you struggling in a particular area? Are you still have more questions on the distance formula or other type of feedback? Your comments as well helps me get better and also gives me ideas for future videos. But with that being said, I definitely appreciate your time and hopefully I, will, I was somewhat close to seven minutes, but I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics journey. And uh, with that being said, have a great day.